Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a Bella Hadid inspired bun. Why did I say bun so weird? <laughs> I really feel like Bella Hadid is just the queen of iconic sleek hairstyles, so I really want to replicate that today, especially because my makeup is pretty Bella Hadid inspired right now. I obviously cannot perfectly replicate it because me and her have completely different hair types, but I feel like I can do a pretty good job at getting it pretty similar. So to start off this hairstyle, I'm gonna need a middle part. Now, because I'm a widow's peak, I feel like my middle parts never look perfectly in the middle, but there is nothing I can literally do about that. Now, I don't know about you, but I feel like that's pretty straight down the middle. Why is my washer making the weirdest noises right now? So now that I have my middle part down, I'm gonna pull out the two front strands that I wanna leave out. Right now I'm debating between pulling it all back and having it completely slicked or having some front strands dangle. Hmm. I feel like I'm really gonna live for the front strands. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Mellow. Everybody say hi to baby Mello. She is a brown British short hair. Right now she looks black. A lot of people think she's black, but she's actually brown. So I'm just gonna start off this hairstyle by misting my hair with just water. It is so much easier to slick back my hair when I mist it. I find if I try to do it dry, it ends up being kind of puffy and not as sleek as I want it. So I really wanna get my hair damp completely all over. Mello keeps making little appearances behind me. Oh, by the way, let me know if you guys want a tutorial for this glam. And sorry about the weird lighting. The sun is setting, I have lights on, and everything is kind of weird right now. I really need to get some blackout curtains for when I wanna film during the day. Okay, now that my hair is kind of wet, so I'm just gonna pull out two little front strands a little bit behind the front hairs. The reason I do that is because my baby hairs kind of frizz up and I want to sleek them back so that this hairstyle looks extra sleek like Bella's does. So I thought for today's video I would try out a new gel. This is the Shea Moisture Stronghold Gel. Ooh, I need to rip this off better. This gel is made with shea butter, peppermint, apple cider vinegar, black castor oil, flaxseed. So it's basically got all the good stuff. I swear this is gonna look really weird for a second, but I gotta tie up these little hairs so they don't get in the way. This looks actually very ridiculous. <laughs> all right, let's dive into this gel. This is the texture. It's very, I don't even know how to describe this. It's definitely a bit thinner than the combat gel. And I have brown hair, so I have no idea if it would leave a tint on blonde hair. But let's just start applying this onto all of our hair. I'm adding a lot because this needs to last all night. Oh yeah. I totally forgot to say why I was doing this hairstyle. It's my aunt's birthday and she wants to go out dancing on the town. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I'm literally a homebody. I don't really like to leave my house a whole bunch. So this is very out of my comfort zone. Okay, well, it's not that I don't like to leave my house. It's just that I feel a lot more comfortable in my house, but I do love a good moment to slay the house down. <laughs> so I'm just gonna smooth this gel into my hair now. I'm not noticing any type of sticky or weird feeling to the gel. I'm gonna go in with edge gel after to really clean up all these hairs. So don't worry, but I really wanna smooth smooth down the rest of the hair with this gel. I have to be a little bit careful because I already have my makeup on so I don't want to mess it up. Because I'm doing a middle part sleek bun, I really want to make sure I don't mess up that middle part. So I'm brushing it up around the perimeters and then to the side in the middle. This bun is not going to be a super low bun, it's actually going to rest in the middle of my head and I am not going to forget the back pieces. The last thing I want is for all of my hair to look really good and the back is just frizzy. <laughs> Sometimes I like to take a hairbrush and really sleek down any of those bumps. Sometimes a hairbrush is needed for this process. So now that I've got the bun kind of how I want it, I'm gonna start twisting the back of my hair up and around. Let me turn around so I can really show you. I'm really just going like this. Depending on how much hair you have, you might need one, two, three hair ties. I'm gonna go in with one to start, but I know I'll end up needing two. And I got those super strength hair ties because they usually love to break on me. Ah! Oh. That is tight. <laughs> As you can see, the hair around my head is still kind of frizzy. So I will be taking combat edges. Oh, by the way, guys, this is the last time you're gonna be seeing me with brown hair. Not the last time ever, but I'm gonna have my sister dye my hair tomorrow and I'm gonna be filming the process. So that will be next Monday's YouTube video. So I'm just taking combat gel around the perimeter and really sleeking back all the hairs. I'm not gonna forget the frizzies underneath here either. Is it just me or is it that once I get a really good routine going with my hair, I always wanna switch it up somehow. Like I'll be having the best hair days of my life and I'm like, wait, I gotta try new products. I gotta switch it up. Now look at those hairs. They're really sleeked back now. Not a hair out of sight. Time to deal with these front strands. So my plan for these front strands is to really dredge it with water and use a gel that's gonna make them stay longer the whole night. A stretching cream just won't do the job. I honestly need a heavy gel like combat gel. Ever since I cut my hair, my hair has been been loving to shrink up even more so than before and I think that's probably because it's more healthy now so it's gonna take a lot of gel to have these stay long so this is kind of its own challenge I don't know if you guys can really see that on camera but there's a lot of gel in this strand and I have to do the same to the other side Ooh, this feels so weird 
scared to put this much gel in my hair. Uh-oh, where did that strand come from? Okay, so I'm actually gonna hit these strands with a blow dryer so I can keep them long, dry them, and hopefully they will stay longer. Okay, so that kind of worked. I mean, it didn't do exactly what I wanted it to do, but you know, curls are gonna do what curls wanna do. But for the most part, I feel like the look is complete. Way back when I was a kid, my dad's friend cut my hair literally lopsided. Like it was literally on a slant. It was so uneven. And I just said, yeah, I love it. I'm so glad you cut my hair. And then cried about it for days until I finally went to an actual hairdresser. That was a terrible time for me because I had to cut off so much length because it was cut like this. Like who even cuts hair like that though? Like what, what was she even doing? And why, why did she want to take scissors to my hair so bad? Like she was pushing for, I remember she was like, I can cut your girl's hair. I can cut your girl's hair. I was like, girl. I would have rather you didn't. Yeah, that's a crazy story. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video. I cannot believe the next time I'm posting a YouTube video, I'm gonna have a completely different hair color. I used to have pretty intense ginger hair before. Like if you scroll deep into like my Instagram feed, you'll see that I've had many different colors of hair. But having the bright ginger hair that I had like last November, I can't remember exactly when it was, was definitely my favorite hair color. As always, if you'd like to keep up with me more often, you can check out my Instagram. I post daily on stories. I try to answer my DMs as often as I can. So if you ever have any hair questions, makeup questions, skincare questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram. And I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you so much for all of the support. We are almost at 500K and that feels crazy to say. By almost, I mean, we still have a little bit to go, but I cannot believe we're as close as we are. This hair has been doing its own thing this whole time. I hope you guys are ignoring it because I'm trying to ignore it. <laughs> are you kidding me? I just spilled my coffee. This sucks. Now I gotta go clean it up.